Hello everyone, Total Thomas Man here and welcome back to the Igniter SMP. And since the last episode, I have found myself in a hole waiting for copper to oxidize so I can then pick it up. And this hole is more or less a pit. And if we fly out of this pit, you'll see it's right in the Mega Base location and this pit is part of the Mega Base. As a matter of fact, I have removed the column that was in the middle that showed where the centerpiece was going to go because I have changed my plans just a little bit and this is now the centerpiece. Yes, a giant hole filled with copper. Definitely my centerpiece. But if you know me, you know I have way bigger plans than that. But before I start working on any of those plans, I need to go meet up with VidMC as I need some iron. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, uh, you've been busy. <laughs> yeah, I kind of uh, went ahead and built the casino. <laughs> wow, this looks so... I, I have no words. Like, uh, it's <laughs> incredible. Like, oh, and I well, thought Bit and Sea Tower was great. Yeah, this looks yeah, awesome. That was, this is a little bigger than that, but... Uh... <laughs> Now this is uh, this is just a shell though. Like there's nothing in it. Like you know. So, a lot of people are gonna be visiting my mega base. Hopefully, if people like it, and I need a particular block that is very resource intensive, and I need a lot of it. Like, mm. well, not a lot of it. Maybe three stacks of it for now. I might need more in the future. Oh. That's that's not a lot of anything. Uh, you, well, it's a lot. You know, it's you know, a lot like, of like this block for me. Fifty-four shulker boxes of material to build this thing. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. But yeah, I yeah, three stacks of something. Yeah, oh yeah, whatever, whatever you need. Yeah. yeah uh, so I need three stacks of iron blocks. Iron blocks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's actually that's a pretty that's a pretty easy request for, me. for you. For you, not for most, yeah. but for you, well, that's an easy request. Yeah, I, you know, I'm a crazy guy with some farms. What if I give you unlimited access to iron blocks? Okay, so all okay. the iron you can you can muster I, for the listening. whole rest of the season. I, I'm I'm I've got my ears open. Like yes, <laughs> yes, I like the sound of this. Do you like it? Do you like the sound yeah, of this? Yeah, I like the sound of it, but what's the catch? You know what I want? What, what, what? I want an IOU from Total Thomas Man. Oh. <laughs> and you know, it could be a big thing or it could be a little thing. For unlimited iron. <laughs> I know. Okay, well that means a build for sure. <laughs> because, although, looking at this, do you really need me for building? <laughs> well... Um, you know what? This, I mean, this, I think looks pretty good. This is, but this is like, this is, I think, the limit of my building ability right now. There you go. Oh, oh. man. Just look. Here's the one thing I request of you. Sure. Do not ask me to build something on this scale. <laughs> That's all I ask. And I will most likely regret that decision in the future. But hey, unlimited iron sounds pretty good to me. Now I went out to a lush cave and gathered as much clay as I could get before my shovel decided that it wanted to wear out on me, but that was a painful experience. Now I need clay for bricks. There is another way to get bricks in Minecraft and that is by trading with mason villagers. And I just so happen to have three villagers in this hull over here. So what do you say about uh, putting a villager reader somewhere, probably underground, which means I have to dig more, and then start to work on getting some mason villagers, maybe even a pumpkin farm to get infinite emeralds, and then tons and tons and tons of masons, and, the, and this time I'm not going to work hard to make anything look nice. And all the effort in making things look nice is definitely gonna have to go above ground. Because seriously, there is gonna be so much to do. Like, I, I think I might even have to remove some of this land right here to make things fit. And I think the other directions, I'll just have to 
flatten out a few things. And of course, there will be deforesting this jungle biome, which I am not looking forward to at all. But, because villagers are very boring, I think I'm just going to do something like I did with this pit, because I just kind of woke up one morning and started making a circle, and then it turned into this pit. So I think I'm just going to do it all off camera and show you everything after I finish it. And as you can see, I did do a bit of the villager work off camera. I even got a staircase going up to the villagers and little stalls to put them in. But then I realized I had a membership for Trader's Haven, so all of that stopped. But now we have a bigger issue as someone has turned all of the golden beetroots on the server into golden onions. But I have a lot more bricks and granite to get, and then we can actually start working on the rest of this pit. So I'm gonna go and gather the resources, and after that, I will build the thing which you're gonna see right now, so technically, uh, I'm building the thing right now. But before that, Vid messaged me saying he needed to talk to me about something. So, what on earth are you doing, and why is there a bunch of sand there? Well, I brought you over here because I want to show you uh, what's behind that sand. Okay. I decided uh, on the name of the casino. I've been thinking about this for a while, and I thought it was only right that you be here when I reveal the big name for the casino. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let me uh, let me fly over there because I've got to flip a switch, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I really hope this works. Welcome to the Golden Carrot Casino. Why? <laughs> Why you don't like the name? Okay, well, I, I, the, the carrot looks incredible, and, and, uh, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know I've been kind of on the fence for a while, but I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh, and really, I, I can't see any other way but to choose carrots. I think I'm I think I'm officially declaring I'm on the carrot side. Okay, so, you heard it. Well, I was about to say you heard it here first, folks, but no, you you heard it in Vid's video first, folks. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. So I'm just kidding, but <laughs> well, I mean, it looks incredible. The the art, no, like it's amazing. Well, thanks. I I uh, I spent a, a lot of time working on this, and I'm I uh, I think that's the perfect name. I really do. Okay, well, suit yourself. I think it could have been Golden Beetroot, but you know what? It's your loss, not mine. No. Okay, we can agree to disagree. Yeah, that that that's that describes our relationship, Vid. We agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah, pretty I much. I don't know. There 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 aren't many things we agree on. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We both. Uh, I'm sure there's something. <laughs> well, we agreed that this is the best server in the world. There you go. There you yeah, go. We and, both uh, like and, the and, Igniter SMP for and, sure. And um uh uh. Who's the best character? Who's the best Jedi in Star Wars? Uh, best Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Okay, yeah, we don't agree on that. It's Qui Gon okay. all the way, you know. But I what? Qui Gon. Okay. Qui Gon. Yeah. Qui Gon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Luke Skywalker. Qui Gon. Two hours later. And there is now a path or road, depending on what you want to call it, going around the pit. And I missed a spot. <laughs> Grab one of those and place it right there. And I've also moved all the copper. I've broken it up, even though some of it was not oxidized and I just put it over there in that chest monster. I think I need a storage system, but it'll have to come later on. As I do have the perfect section of my mega base to put it in, but I have to wait until I get around to planning that portion. But now I'm on my way over 
to the shopping district where, where Nia Vries has been working on Beetroot Tower a little bit. Yes! Ah, oh, blood, sweat, and tears, but I made us an elevator. And I know I broke down half the building <laughs> because it you didn't know what? fit. You know what? It is the back side of the build, so you know it's fine. <laughs> okay, I will explain. Um, this is the button which explains uh, where you are. Okay. So we're down. And if you want to go to, say, the third floor, you can push the third button. So this one? Oh, wow. No. And then you can just go in and it goes up. And if you want to go I this to was the, the fourth floor. Um, well, we have a zero, one, two. Oh, three, oh, oh, okay. You're going by zeros. Okay, gotcha. Uh, uh, next time you're ever gonna make a headquarters, please don't make it this big. Yeah, I. I... That's for next time. Well, look, look, look. Look, you see that carrot over there? You know, it's so pitiful compared yeah. to this. This shows power. Yeah, that's true. But if we want to go down one floor, we just push the button next to it, and we just only go down one floor. Wow, that is this is so cool. So Anita, I have uh, uh, I have a plan, and it involves signs. So could you say our server is in a little bit of chaos at the moment? Like we have pranks going on left, right, and center, all because. Some people prefer beetroots and some people prefer carrots. Wouldn't you call it chaos? That's correct. Well, I want to try and solve that chaos, and I'm going to run for Prime Minister of the Igniter SMP. Now I want you to take some of these signs, and all around the shopping district, we're going to write messages uh, about me and saying why you should vote for me as Prime Minister. Why we should vote for you? Uh, because okay. because I I I like all people, no matter what their vegetable is. I like beetroots. I like carrots. I like onions. I like potatoes. I mean, I even like wheat. You know, I like it all. But didn't you previously said you hated carrots? Oh yeah, I did say that. Well, uh, um, 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 um. I like carrots now. Carrots are not... Carrots... Are, I don't like carrots. I, I don't like the carrots as a whole, but I like the people that are a part of the carrots. Okay. Does that make sense? Because I'm a beetroot. So let's say mm. Iron Knight runs for Prime Minister. He would be serving as a... He, he, he'd be running as a carrot, you know? So I'm just gonna yeah. go around and place signs everywhere. Can we sleep? Yes. Okay. So yeah, I'm running for Prime Minister of the Igniter SMP. And what does that mean, you might be asking? Well, uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do either. I'm planning on having a town council if I'm elected, where I will ha hold another election to elect a town council. That way all the power isn't in my hands. But I don't know if I will win. There'll be more of that stuff happening in a future video. But right now I want to fly to the pit where I did but finish right now, filling I it in with water and man this took a I long did. time. I thought this would take like 20 minutes, but no, 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 it took like two hours. Now I know what you're thinking, a giant lake that's in a perfect circle in the middle of your mega base, is that really a good centerpiece? It seems a little dull. Well I have big plans for this lake, but that'll have to wait for a future episode. Now I want to grab some of these materials I have in my inventory as I want to do a bit of decoration. So we're going to come here to the middle of this one section of the lake and we're going to put down a polished deep slate wall, a spruce fence, a hopper, and an ochre frog light. I guarantee I butchered that. And then you'll see it's kind of like a little lamp street lamp and I want to put another one on each of the four middle bits ah words confusing and it just kind of adds a bit more atmosphere and it especially adds more light when we turn shaders on and honestly I don't think these four are enough I really love this design and I'm not gonna be able to use it 
in most of the mega base. So I need to make sure I I want to place maybe four more. So I want to make sure I get them in a good place. Let's try right here. And yeah, I think if we do four more in that same spot, in that exact same spot around the circle, it'll look very nice. Ooh, yeah, this really makes it come to life more. And what does it look like with the shaders? Okay, don't get me wrong, I'm not one to brag much, but this does look a little bit pretty. I know there's some lines in the water, and that's where I messed up a little bit, and I'm too lazy to go and fix. But now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. I tried to do it with a leaf, but now I'm breaking this tree. Um, <laughs> I am building a theme park. I know exactly what you're thinking. Uh, another, well, I, I guess we'll say popular YouTuber by the name of, oh, uh, what was it? Was it like a bad times with Simba, something like that? Oh, w oh wait, good times with Scar. Yeah, that's it. I know Scar is also building a theme park on the Hermitcraft server, but you gotta keep in mind, things like this take a lot of time to plan out, and I've actually been planning some of this stuff in creative mode since before Hermitcraft Season 9. So I was already planning on doing this before I knew Scar was. Now before we finish today's episode, there is one more thing I need to add to this park. So I need to craft some dark oak stairs and some dark oak trap doors. And now we're going to place the most important part of any theme park. So we'll just place two dark oak stairs and put a trap door around it and we have a bench. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. Benches, TTM, they're important, but why are they the most important thing about theme parks? And that's because it just makes it seem more real. I know this is Minecraft where we can't actually have people come visit, well we can have people come visit our park, but we can't really have thousands and thousands and thousands of people visiting every single day. And the most important thing to some people is a little bit of rest. I know my favorite thing about going to a theme park is sitting down on a bench and just watching everything. Looking around at my surroundings and watching the people go by. I really enjoy sitting on benches. But with that being said, I definitely need to end this episode here. I've spent way more time than I planned on uh, making this video. So thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you are excited for the theme park, let me know by leaving theme park in your comment down below. And I will see you all on the next one. Goodbye.